This video will show how to do the installation for the electrolyte analyzer. First, we take out the main machine, uh, region pack, and the accessory, put them on the table. Then we can open the accessory box and taking out the uh, pack and list. Then we can uh, use a pencil to to check each accessory, uh, reagent, and other um, for example, uh, we take out the normal electrodes. Uh, we showed them to the end users to check each one. Potassium, sodium, chloride, pH, and calcium. We can tick uh, each one. And uh, this is the rough electrodes. Okay, put them as, as, as nearby. And here are also other reagents. We can check one by one and tick one by one to show them to end users. Now let's do the installation for electrodes. This is the normal electrodes. We hold it in this position and uh, there are must be there are tiny bubbles inside and we can't see it uh, and we hold it like this and uh, use our finger to flip the bottom of the electrodes like this we need to do it hardly and to then we can remove the tiny bubbles the bubbles we can see so you have to do it before installation for each electrode. Now here is just the demos. Uh, I already did it for each one of them. So uh, we can install them quickly. For the rough electrodes, we take it in this way. There, are before installation, there are fishing line go through the hole uh, because it is can avoid the blockage. So the first, we need to use a scissor to cut the fishing line. Then remove the fishing line carefully. Then we use a clipper to remove the cap. The original cap with no hole. So we need to rem take it away and replace it uh, with a new one and uh, that is uh, with a small hole. Okay, we need to uh, put it on the rough electrode. Then we need to remove the bubble for the rough electrode. We hold it in this way and use it to hit our palm like this. We can do several times. Then hold it in this way uh, and use our finger to flip the bottom of the rough electrode. Then we can install it and use our finger to press it first to keep them in a line then uh, lock the knob, tighten the knob to keep it in a good status then close the door now let's install the pump tube we can hold the pump tube like this and put it in, in a slot then we pull it around the pump, pump head, and then pull it, then put the other end at the slot, then lock it. 
Now let's install the reagent pack. First, we need to remove the rubber uh, of the reagent pack. Then we put it at the position first at the, the let the bottom at the position, then push the head. Then it is okay. Install the pa printer paper. We hold the paper like this and pull a piece uh, a piece out. Then we use our fingernail to scratch it. Uh, if there is a black line, it is the thermal side. Then we open the printer door and put it inside. Let the paper go through the hole, then close it. Okay, that's it. Calibration. First install installation, the pipeline is empty. So we need to go to the other service, advanced setup. And uh, here we put uh, user password 126. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To get into the menu, and here we use uh, piping A times and B times to fill the pipe pipeline uh, then the calibration will be fine so, so before your calibration uh, it is better to hit here uh, two to three times to let the region A and B to uh, fill the pipeline so you can do this uh, function two to three times When you are using this function, you can check in the distribution valve to check if there is a liquid pass through the, uh, the pipe. Now we can go to do the calibration. Then press OK. It will cost some time. After a while, it will finish the calibration like this. Here show the result and will print out the calibration result. Generally, we use the QC solution as a sample uh, to do the sample analysis for demo. As you can see, the warranty period of the QC solution is two years, uh, but when it's opened, the warranty period is one, only one month. So we need to uh, use a mark pen to note down the open date uh, on the bottle. So it's obvious for uh, and user and that one is already invalid so we use another one this one is uh, valid so let's take another uh, one bullet tube as to take some sample first okay let's think this is uh, the human sample to do the sample analysis. Press test. This is the start number one. We need to wait for the for it's ready. Now we lift the sample probe and press the OK. And close the tab. It needs some time to calculate the or to mirror the result of the sample. After a while, uh, it will give the 
result and the printer will print out the test result and it shows on the screen so when this one finish it will get ready for the next one so we can do the same procedure to test several uh, several times Here I did it three times. Uh, let's mm, tear down the paper and uh, use a pen to nail down the numbers. One, two, three. So just imagine you have three samples. You can do it like this way. If you need more, please do the same procedure. 